Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a message for today and I would like to focus on this amazing energy that certainly I've been experiencing but I'm sure many of you have as well. I know the clients that I've been reading for over the past few days have been experiencing very similar things and it's to do with that energy of rediscovering who you are and coming home to your true self, to your true ideal situation through rediscovering yourself, basically. And I must say, I, I've had so much fun with these cards. I, I never really pull them out. I kind of, not that I didn't find them use, oh, I don't know. It's like they, they didn't really have the same kind of use for me in the past. But this is all to do with the awakening or reawakening with passion and love for the Divine Feminine. That she's stepping more into her goddess energy and power that it just really prompted me to, to use these cards again. And there's so much fun and I've actually had really good feedback from both male and female clients watching these videos um, that they've been finding them quite interesting and also applicable to themselves no matter what gender they are but also no matter what um, divine um, kind of feminine or masculine that they identify with. And I just want to talk about them. Let's have a quick look at them. So the first one here, and aren't these cards just beautiful? This one is Cycles and Rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. The second card is Endings and Beginnings. So it kind of ties in with this one. The old must be released so that the new can enter. And then the third card is home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change. In the occupants. Although if you're just living by yourself, it'd just be the change within you. So what this is, I've been prompted to get rid of a lot of stuff from what I felt was the old me. Um, I've talked about this in a few videos and actually a lot of people I know have been prompted to do the same. So it's a very reoccurring theme with a lot of different people and what made me think whilst I was either selling these things or donating them to charity was I have a lost a little bit of who I truly am when I look at these things some of them resonate with who I am but some of them really don't and a lot of the time, these things made me think that I was trying too hard to please other people and to appease certain situations. And now that I just want to make myself happy, regardless of who is in my life, I'm actually rediscovering more of who I am. Getting to know myself even more again. I already thought I did this when I actually broke up from my last long-term relationship. I thought I'd finally got the time to get to know myself better and really know who I am. But now, through getting rid of a lot of the stuff that I used to own back then, I'm really starting to fine-tune and rediscover once again who I am. The evolved me, the new and improved me, the me that runs this business and has this gift and isn't afraid to shine to the world who I truly am. And it's given me a really good feeling of coming home. Coming home to myself, coming home within my own heart and within my own spirit. And it's the most beautiful 
an amazing feeling. And I truly feel that this time is a time for a reawakening of the Divine Feminine. Whether that's the energy of the Divine Feminine for the Divine Feminine, if that makes sense, or the Divine Feminine within the Divine Masculine, because we have parts of both anyway within ourselves, even if we identify more with one or the other. But this time truly, I feel, is a stepping into your true goddess power, embracing yourself for who you really truly are, and coming home to yourself. Now when I do things or buy things, I will always honour myself first. I will always make sure that I am happy first. I will never do anything to make other people happy. If I'm not happy with it, then they can take a back seat and they just, you know. I am the most important in all of this. And it makes me feel empowered and just truly happy. I can't describe the level of happiness and freedom that this has brought to me. I never have to think again, oh, is this person going to like me because of this? Are they going to accept me because of that? All I think about now is, it doesn't matter as long as I love and accept myself. They can think whatever they want. And that, you know, even goes for my beloved. <laughs> Whereas before I would really try to be mindful and careful of, oh, I must make sure that he's happy and that he would be okay with this or that. Now I'm just like, Do you know what, if you're not okay with it, too bad. Because I'm okay with it and I'm happy with it and it makes me feel fulfilled and that's the most important thing. I've talked about this quite a bit over the past few videos that I've put out, but it is so, so important to not give away your power. We all have our own energy. I like to liken it to a pie. So we all have an energetic pie. And when you're saying yes, when you should be saying no, you are giving away pieces of your pie. If you've given away so much that your pie is pretty much non-existent, then you will feel depleted and empty. Don't give away your pie. Don't give away your power. Do everything that makes you happy. And everything else will fall into place. I've made a resolution that this Christmas and this New Year's will be the most beautiful Christmas and New Year's. The most happy and the most amazing. And that I am keeping myself to, no matter what happens. I hope that you can find the strength and the peace within, the freedom and the love within yourself through this message. And I thank you all for taking time out for watching this. And if you would like to connect with me, then all my details are in the description. I thank you all very much for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.